Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. So let's get open for business here, and let's wake up the football guys. Wake up there, guys. Wake up. How's everybody doing on this game day? I know this season has not been the season that we have wanted. This season stinks between all of the injuries, between no OTAs, without mini camps and all that stuff. It's really not like a real football season. 2020, you know, the whole year seems like we've been, you know, shifted to an alternate universe that everything seems to be upside down. And it's just crazy, and we just want to get through this. I, I understand that completely, and I I'm with you on that one. 2020 has been just bad. But with that being said, we still have had a football season. I'm thankful that we've had a season that we, as bad as it's been, I'd rather have that than no season at all. At least we still have seven more games, seven more opportunities to determine the future course of our uh, team be it by losing and ended up getting draft picks or having games with the possibility of still winning the division. I know as crazy as that sounds, as we sit at two and seven on our backup quarterback, having played four different quarterbacks on this season, having had originally the worst defense in the history of football for the first half of the season, I'm still hopeful for my team. I, as crazy as it will sound, think that the Cowboys get a victory today. I know that the Vikings are on a three-game win streak, that they have actually come back around and come back to life, that they beat you know the Lions, the Bears, and the Green Bay Packers, and Dalvin Cook is in the MVP conversation. But they're not a perfect team. They still have Kurt freaking Cousins. And if you look at the trends, I tell you what, let, let's, let's see if I'm on my own here. Because here's, like I said, as crazy as it sounds, I think the Cowboys get a win today. I think that the Washington football team gets a win today. And I think that the Eagles lose. And if that scenario happens, at least for one week, the Cowboys and Washington are playing for first place on Thanksgiving. I think that would actually be pretty, pretty intriguing. It would actually be kind of fun. It might even make Thanksgiving Day better for one of our franchises, at least to have a little bit of hope in a year that there's been very little hope on anything. But let's listen to uh, James Jones and see what they have on the NFL Network as far as a prediction for this one. Before James Jones' head explodes, Cowboys, Vikings, James, <laughs> don't do it, man. Coach Mike McCarthy <laughs> finds a way. The Cowboys get a victory. Listen, one thing I like about the Cowboys is last, last time they stepped on the field against the Pittsburgh Steelers, I know they had a bye week last week, but last time they stepped on the field, they symbolized the defense. The defense flew around. The defense played at a high level. I like the defense in this game. I know who's on the other side. I know Dalvin Cook is on the other side. I know Dalvin Cook is in the MVP race. But I like Andy Dalton coming back, giving him a spark, and I loved what I seen from the defense. I feel like the Cowboys come out here, they find a way to James. get a W. It's a hot Minnesota Vikings team. James. Mike Robb. Uh -oh. There's no way you believe what you're saying right now. There's just no way you believe it, bro. You talking about I Dalvin said it. Cook? He possibly, we pot, he's in the MVP discussion, man, red hot. And man, the Dallas Cowboys defense can't stop a nosebleed. What are you talking about? I got the Vikings winning 28-17. Something wrong with you, James. Listen, Something and Rob, oh, he's, be he believes every word he says. I don't know if you saw how serious he got there. I know. But no matter how piercing your eyes got, James Jones, I'm still taking the Vikings 26-14. Okay, so here's the thing. Actually, when I when I think about their prediction, okay, he's got 28-17. 28-17. His point was the Dallas Cowboys couldn't stop a nosebleed, but you saw what they did against the Steelers? They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Big Ben. And I got to tell you, Kirk Cousins isn't Big Ben. If the Cowboys defensive line, which has actually done a good job the last three weeks as far as stopping the run, actually stopping the run better then we have stopped the run in forever after we literally got embarrassed. And I mean embarrassed.
by the Cleveland Browns, giving up 309 yards when we decided to go through and get rid of some players. They simplified the defense, and they put in these young pups between Antoine Woods and Gilmore, and I think we'll see maybe Bradley and I some today. Uh, we know that uh, Demarcus Lawrence and uh, Randy Gregory uh, are questionable because they've been sick, uh, but I think that they'll both end up playing. I think the Dallas Cowboys have an opportunity to slow down Dalvin Cook. And if they slow down Dalvin Cook and put it in Kirk Cousins' hands, all of a sudden, you are really changing the complexion of this team. Uh, you know, it, it's it's totally different when you, you, your best bet is to have Kirk Cousins be the one that has to beat you. It's no shade on Kirk Cousins. He's a good quarterback, but Kirk Cousins has a way of making some bad mistakes. And I feel like the Cowboys might be able to get it in there. Now, am I crazy? Probably. Do the Cowboys get a win? Pro in all likelihood, they probably don't. In fact, I've got some people out there that are mad at me and just saying, dude, what are you doing? Why are you rooting for the Cowboys right now? You want to root for them to lose. We want to be that top three pick. We want to go ahead and build towards when we have Dak Prescott back, when we ha have a healthy, excuse me, healthy offensive line. That's what we want to look at. We want to look at having an offseason where Mike McCarthy actually has the team there uh, together and is able to work with them and coach them up. When we make some adjustments as far as the coaching staff goes and we get the right coaches and the right players, forget this season. This season means nothing. Well, you know what? I understand that argument. I understand that argument. And I'm kind of conflicted inside because, in some sense, I know that that's the right answer. That it's about building the team for the future. But in the same regard, as a fan, you still want to win. I want to be able to sit out in my fire pit tonight and smoke a cigar because it ain't been a victory in so long. It hasn't been a victory in so long. But you never know what can happen. You just don't. And that's the great thing about football is it's always constantly evolving and changing. You can look at the Vikings and they started out the season one and four. And people were already talking about them being a top five pick. That their season was over. Yet they beat Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. You don't know what you don't know. And who knows? There's seven weeks. There's seven weeks left. Now, we're going to start out. Uh, we'll be live streaming, of course, uh, starting out at 1 o'clock. Uh, we'll be uh, streaming uh, reactions to the Washington uh, Cincinnati game, and that game's kind of important. At least I look at it as kind of important because I want to see Cincinnati because we got to play them in a few weeks, as well as look at Joe Burrow um, and see how he's doing as a rookie now that he's got half the season behind him. For those who say, let's just draft another quarterback, um, let's see how well these rookies come out the gate and play, and that'll give you an idea if the Cowboys draft a rookie quarterback, what we can expect. Um, of course, the Eagles will have our exclusive Philly cam melting down. Hopefully, we'll see a meltdown and see them lose to the Browns. If they get a win with the Browns, I think that that kind of gives them the inside track, although they've got a hellacious schedule over the course of the next five games, playing Seattle, playing New Orleans, although be it New Orleans without Drew Brees, um, um, Green Bay, and who am I missing in there? Browns, Green Bay, Seattle. So you could all of a sudden see the Eagles team go on a five-game lose streak uh, before having to play us and then Washington. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And this is actually, I think, actually a key week. Um, you lose this one today, then it's over. It's completely over to me in my mind. And that's where you just, at that point, I think, you only hope for a couple moral victories. Maybe you hope for a win against uh, the Washington football team on Thanksgiving just so our turkey doesn't come back up. All right, y'all. I'll be here in about four hours. I hope you guys will be here with us too. And we're going to have some fun.
and I'll see you soon.